Hey guys, thought I'd show you a detail here. So, you know, we're filling, I'm making the vents that come in and uh, they're just blocked off right now. But whenever there's any penetrations and we're dealing here with the vapor barrier and a reflective foil, which I'll have blocked off into chambers and these will have no air movement between this and the, uh, the uh, drywall. So this will be strapped and drywalled, but chambers will be blocked off so no air circulation can happen in there. That has to do with the uh, removal of moisture on the surface. Okay. Uh, now, what's great is, is if, if you know what all these are, so I know a three quarter is going to lay across. I just do my electrical boxes, get all that stuff in because we have access to go behind, foam everything in and uh, then then tuck our stuff is. So we're not trying to seal a box to perhaps the drywall or something like that, which most fixtures are allowing, you know, an electrician to just come drill into the face of your cathedral ceiling. And then, you know, and some, some don't know how to plaster, so you gotta get that person there. So it's important that these are done a certain way. So it's all taped. Um, and a question for the Sparkies. Does that now mean that the foil is uh, equipment grounded? Anyway, that's how I deal with that. Then, always working around small or, or fiddly things. Don't try to fit a whole piece in there. Just cut one that's easy to handle. And here I just dug out the back. And then I can shove that in there. Now that's not perfect. But we can, uh, we can tuck stuff in here. And then I just hold that in. A little, little compression there. And now I'm going to carry on. With my regular cutting.